On Tuesday, Senator Adam Sushomole, who represents Edo North District, expressed the view that the striking labor unions are not adequately considering the welfare of Nigerian workers. He contended that the nationwide strike initiated on Tuesday is based on flawed reasoning. According to him, the organized labor would be better served by a rallying, relying state to oversee the implementation of the Memorandum of Understanding. It's endorsed with the federal government on October 2nd, 2023. I will publicly support an action against any government that think that we should lament away our hunger. Unfortunately, this strike is not about those issues. We have to be careful not to miss our political opinion with our responsibilities because the issues confronting workers are so much that they should become the priority. Oshomole told the State House correspondent when he emerged from closed door talks with the Vice President Kasim Shetima at the Aso Rock Villa Abuja. On the night of October 2nd, the federal government agreed to meet various demands of the organized labor, including the disbursement of 35,000 naira as wage awards to all federal workers for the next six months. The agreement also encompassed the provision of compressed natural gas enabled vehicles and con conversion kicks to facilitate the nationwide commuting. However, on Monday night, the labor centers announced the initiation of a nationwide strike in protest against the assault on the NLC President Joe Ajaro and some other Congress executives in Uweri, Imo State, on November 1st. The strike also aimed to address unreserved labor issues in Imo State. The union communicated with its affiliates such as the Academic Staff Union of University, the National Union of Electricity Employees, the Nigerian Union of Teachers, the Judiciary Staff Union of Nigeria, and the Academic Staff Union of Polytechnics, among others, ahead of the planned nationwide strike scheduled to commence at midnight on November 14, 2023. However, Oshomole, a former chairman of the Nigerian Labor Congress in 1999 to 2007, argued that the priorities of the labor movement were misplaced. The federal government had granted the 5,000 Naira wage award, and those discussions were supposed to be for and an half of not only the federal government, but all of workers in Nigeria, including those employed by local governments and state governments. Now, I would have wished that somebody in the NLC recognize that the hunger in the stomach of the federal employees is not only worse than that of the state or local government employees. If these are the issues on the table, even as a senator, I will publicly support action against any government that thinks that he would lament away our hunger. You have to be careful not to be seen as doing the bidding of a particular candidate or a particular party, he remarked. Why kicking against violence against any individual, the former Edo State Governor called on labor to mobilize its members in all 36 states to ensure that the federal government fulfill its promises to ease the living conditions of Nigerians. He advised, let me be clear, I do not support the brutalization of any Nigerian, including the labor leader, but I am saying in terms of what you might call the hierarchy of needs and challenge that we face. I think that NLC should robustly engage all the state governors or governments who are not implementing the ag agreement that was midwife custody of a national strike, not a federal government employee strike. So if you mobilize private sector workers, the state employees, the local government workers, and now 
there is an agreement on 35,000 naira across the board. I want to see NLC saying there will be no sleep in any state where this is not being implemented. Ishomele arrived at the state house accompanied by two former members of the National Working Committee of the All Progressive Congress. The outrage include a former the entourage include a former national vice chairman, the North Central Ahmed Wabai, and the former national treasure, treasury Adamu Fanda. He said they were at the villa to congratulate President Bola Tinubu, who is away in Saudi Arabia, through the vice president over the APC success in, in the Imo state and Kogi elections on November 11. So first, we have to congratulate him. And since the president is not here, though, through him to the president for the victory, we recorded in the elections in Imo and Kogi, he explained. The senator urged that or argued that the off circle elections in Bayasa, Imo, and Kogi State illustrate the significant influence waiting by the people. He described those in the country's capital who express opinions on the politics of regions they have never visited as vocal elements, emphasizing the evident power of the local populace in shaping electoral outcomes. He opined what was hap what has happened in Imo shows that urban cities cannot arrest this democracy. These forgotten majority of voiceless people have the power of the ballot. That is not what sponsored communicators say on television or sponsored writers write in papers that we inform their judgment. Their judgment will be informed or formed by what they have seen the governor doing and what the governor is doing that touches them. The worst mistake you can make is to rely on sampling people in Abuja whom we call World 17. They don't exist in the state. They are very vocal. Okay? They are the ones you will find being hosted by TV hosts. But these voiceless people are Important. They are the one that votes. So, guys, what's your take on what uh, Shomale have just said? I I just want to pick out one or two things here. He's talking about the thirty-five thousand naira. The federal government said they will be giving to state and the federal government. Please, if I may ask, these uh, state workers and the federal uh, workers in Nigeria. They are not only Nigerians who are facing the problem here. And talking about that at the 5,000 Naira in six months, you've just done nothing. Because the real thing, the real problem, you have not, you have not solved it. After giving them 35,000 Naira every month for six months, and the real problem is still there, you've done nothing. The government should hit on the, the real problem, which is the first subsidy remover. And Nigerians are still asking, since seven months now, this first subsidy, uh, this first subsidy has been removed by President Bola Metinubu government. What have they done with the money? Nigerians want to know, what is the government doing with the money? You understand? All these, this and this and that. Oshomele is talking like this today because he's now a politician. He will not see, you know, what... People are saying he's a politician. He's not a politician, and don't forget that he's is now uh, a, a senator in the same party. Well, Nigerians, what's your take on this? Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. If you are just joining us, do not forget to subscribe to this channel.